Richard Pochettino spoke to the club channel uh, yesterday at Chelsea and obviously he's pleased to be there. Of course he is. This is kind of stuff he was coming away with. You know, I know very well Chelsea is one of the greatest clubs in the, in the world. And of course it was easy for us to, to take the decision uh, to move to here. I think we are really excited. We are uh, so happy. I think it's exciting now for us and of course what we want is to give uh, or to bring, you know, the happiness again to this uh, great football club. Working hard, playing in the way that the fans can enjoy football. And then the history of Chelsea's win. I think uh, in the last 10, 12, 15 years, I think Chelsea is the greatest team in, in, in England. And that we know very well. I think I know very well the Premier League. I know very well what means uh, Chelsea, the culture of Chelsea. I think our fans, they are so exciting also to, again, to, to be in the, in the road of, of uh, trying to win and, and of course, um, for us, uh, make to feel really exciting about to work with a very young team in a different approach, of course, and in the past, but I think we need to all understand that we need to work, uh, work really hard, but in the same time, in a, in a very good, create a very good atmosphere on the training ground to, to build the, uh, the successful for the, for the team in the next uh, few years. Simon, I really like Mauricio. I mean, I, I've known him since uh, Nicola Cortese introduced me to him in Barcelona when he brought him to Southampton. So that's a while back. Chelsea have been um, the greatest team in England for the last 10, 12, 15 years. No, I'm not too sure about that. No. I mean, no, the I club don't. channel is for the fans and the fans want to hear positive things. Absolutely. But I, don't, I don't agree with that. I mean, I think they've certainly been in the conversation, no doubt about it. If you've won three Premier League titles in the last 15 years, you've won three FA Cups and two Champions Leagues, and you're part of a conversation. But you've been eclipsed by Manchester City. End of discussion. Man City are doing things that are unprecedented. OK, it's taken them a long time. It took Chelsea a long time. How long mm. did it take Chelsea to win a, um, a Champions League? A few years, to eight, nine years before they won it under Roman Abramovich. It's taken Manchester City a little bit longer. Um, but they've now won a Champions League. They've, they've done a treble. Chelsea have never done that. They've won, what, four of the last five Premier Leagues? Yeah. I mean, we're talking about the bars being shifted. Of course, it's a puff piece. But you're saying, yeah, but, but you said recently, yeah, they'll be in contention next season. Yeah, they will be. Absolutely they will be. They didn't bring Pochettino in not to learn the lessons from last season. They didn't bring Pochettino in not to be in contention. The question will abound, and still abounds in my mind, is Pochettino a winner? I don't think he is. I don't think he's a loser. I don't think it's binary. I don't think you're a winner or you're a loser. I don't go down the camp of Rio Ferdinand. Everyone's a loser if they haven't won something in life. I do think ultimately there are different versions of winners. And I think if winning for Chelsea only is winning the Premier League, then he's going to be a loser. If winning for Chelsea is re-establishing themselves amongst the top four teams in the Premier League, then Pochettino will do that job. I don't have any compunction in suggesting that what you saw last year was not going to be reflective of what you see going forward. All the background noise about, oh, we're losing Mason Mount, oh, top bowl, his balls and this up, he's a disaster. Right? All of these things, all of these lessons, the one thing that the Americans are is quick learners. Bowley isn't going to sit there and allow this to continue. I know he's made statements about we're not screwing around, but they've screwed around for a year. That's the waste. That's the fact in terms of fat. That's the mistakes that they've made. They'll lean up now. They'll lean up their understanding of the game. They'll lean up their understanding of player acquisitions. They'll lean up their playing squad. And they've brought a manager in that's capable of moving through the gears. You get My view... Yeah. Well, and then maybe, the, and they'll obviously do that too because Pochettino isn't blind. So, with that in mind, you're going to see a situation where Chelsea are competitive and they're going to be competitive by challenging the top four. Do I think that they will win the league? No, but I think they're going to surprise a few people. I think they're going to be a damn sight. People say, yeah, it was not much difficult, is it? They're going to be a damn sight better than they were last year. And Pochettino, for me, will get you close, he'll get you to whiff of it. But if you want to whiff of something, that's fine. Go to go to this, you know, the perfume counter at Harrods. If you want to win something, <laughs> there's something different there, isn't there? And I don't think you will. <laughs> I've often seen you at the perfume counter <laughs> at Harrods. Um, so uh, that was uh, Pochettino. It was day one for Ange at Tottenham. What did he do? Spoke to the club channel. Have a listen. I love to win, mate. That's the main thing, you know, and I've done that wherever I have been. So the football is designed to bring success. Alongside that, it's really important to me that, you know, that there is an, uh, an element of, I think, most fans and most players want to be associated with, and that is football that, that's exciting, that, that people talk about, not just, um, you know, the end result, but also the, the manner in which you played your football. And uh, it's really important to me, um, like I said, A, because it, I think it's a way to be successful, but secondly, it allows people to 
grab onto those things that are the most special about our game, those memorable moments. You know, people want to see their team scoring goals, being exciting, uh, not conceding goals, uh, you know, being aggressive in their approach. All these kind of things that you know everyone seeks in in, in their own football teams. Uh, it's kind of what I try and provide. Um, you never get it right uh, in all aspects, but the basis of it will be that we want to be a team that wins things, but ultimately also entertains our fans. What about Poch thought about the... Um, uh, that Poch, Postacoglu thought about the Johnny Bairstow run out. Last season, <laughs> last season, Sam, in Tottenham, uh, finished 16 points above Chelsea. Yeah. So do these two go into a season for the first time this decade on a level playing field? Possibly because of the starting position of where Chelsea have allowed itself to deteriorate. Chelsea have got ostensibly, I think, a better playing squad. Um, albeit they've got to they've got to shuffle the deck and they've got to move it around and make sure that they've ticked all the boxes and, and leaned up the squad. And I think they'll do that. They've got good players. Mm. Those players seem to think they didn't have to do a job last year. And I think they'll have a different mentality this year. Same thing, similar thing at Post- with Poster Coglu. You've got a bunch of psychological cheats in that dressing room at Tottenham, and he needs to weed some of them out and get people in that have got strength, that have got substance, that understand when adversity comes knocking, you just don't, don't fold and say, "Can I have some more of that adversity, please?" You overcome it. And I think Poster Coglu will bring that. Um, I, I think Chelsea will do better than Spurs, but I think both of them will push the envelope and both of them will give something worth watching. And I don't think we'll hear some of the things that we've heard last year. I think the background noise about Bowley will disappear because it'll be less interesting because he'll be in the background more. And I think the culture of Spurs, and I don't want to lay everything at this guy's doorstep, but as long as Postacoglu doesn't start reading his own press as long as Postacoglu keeps the reality yeah, of what's made point. him strong I don't that's think made him an yeah. antipodean of yeah. character and substance yeah. and doesn't get into the Premier League and start becoming sort of a bit like the Pardews of the world become once upon a time a little bit of a fan of themselves with that in mind if he keeps that focus and yeah. he keeps that discipline yeah. I think Spurs will be a very competitive outlet I think he will mate um, <laughs> uh, we're coming up to uh, we're coming up to 11 o'clock that sounded like another invitation for a charity bet you think Chelsea will finish above Tottenham let me think about oh, that mate, don't let me, me think better. about that I know you're you're down to your last bag of 20 <laughs> pences coming up to 11 Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport